Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Iron Man. Last video, we set out to finish the SGS because I've been holding on to the Sarah Hilt and the God Sword Shard 1 and 2 for such a long time now, and because the main goal of this account is pretty much going to be camping Slayer slash bossing forever, I think it only makes sense to get this done before we really get into all of that. Plus, by finishing this, we will free up an inventory slot too. Uh, I'm just holding on to that for no reason. I'm just probably going to alk it next to my suicide. So last video, we went back to Sierra for the first time in a long time with a couple changes because this time we have Rigor and we have the Twisted Buckler instead of the Crystal Shield. And we did 300 kills last video and moved up from, I think, rank 8 to rank... Three. Let me show you the high scores. Yeah, see, there it is, rank three, because the only game mode I'd be able to get decent ranks on would be a dead game mode. <laughs> There's about to be spoilers, so if you didn't see the last video, probably now would be the time to check it out, because I'm about to show the collection log, and you could all just see where we're at in case you forgot from the last video. But here we go. So we technically finished Sarah last video because we got the pet. <laughs> uh, I think it was 1,210 KC, so pretty lucky. The main goal is to get another God Sword Shard 3 to finish the SGS before we move on, but if we don't achieve that this video, then the secondary goal is going to be getting rank 1, and then we'll wrap up the video then. But that's uh, over 1,500, 1,548 KC is what we need at the moment. So it'd still be like 250 kills this video to get that. Shout out to Anissa, by the way, one defense UIM. He's uh, pretty upset with me. All he wants is the ACB, and I've already got some four of them. <laughs> Oh no, I'm so sorry. But yeah, let's get back into it and hopefully we can finish the SGS before we actually get all the way to rank 1. So this is my inventory setup. I think I've perfected it pretty well at this point. This is just like really well balanced. Like if I don't get any supply drops, I can still get a decent amount of kills. If I do get supply drops, then I just don't have to prayer flick and it makes the trip a lot easier for me. Last video we started out with 1011 KC and now we're up to 1317. Yo, first Sarah Sword back. I haven't seen one for like 400 kills at least or something. It's 1 out of 128. All right, end of the trip. Uh, the Sierra Sword Elks for 78k or has a GE value of 540k. So I'm just going to go and elk that. How many did we get now, actually? That is number nine. So we're pretty much on the drop rate for that. There is 1400kc at Sierra now. So what I do at the end of every day is after I do my last trip of Sierra and use up all the supplies from there, I go sacred eel fishing and I have slowly been adding these scales into my surp helm and my blowpipe um, but probably in like one or two more days we're gonna have to go suicide I mean go fight his spore, a very difficult boss and get the scales out of there to recharge those but I very much enjoy and appreciate the kind of casual downtime after doing Ceridomen all day. Every time I see that green text, man, I keep thinking it's the thing, but it's not the thing. All right, how many Ceridomen lights is this? I know I checked the collection log like five times a day, but I need to refresh my memory again. That is number six, and that's gonna get out. After today's endeavors, we are now moved up to rank two for UIM Sarah Casey. We're like, uh, I guess like two days off from rank one now, assuming we don't get the shard three. Good morning, gamers. We have an update to go over. There's a lot of really nice changes, in my opinion, in this update. So first thing is all the gauntlet changes that were pulled like a month or two months ago or something finally came into the game. Um, I stopped doing the gauntlet at 10kc corrupt and regular, but I think once I go back to Slayer, I'll be doing gauntlet runs whenever I'm not streaming, just because I don't want to do the fun boss tasks off stream, whereas the gauntlet is something you can kind of casually do whenever you want. There's a mythical max cape now, which looks really cool, I bet that'd look cool with the UIM armor. It's just a shame that I'll never get that. Here's a really nice one right here, especially for UIM. So when you die now, your scales are taken out of all your toxic stuff. So when you die, like there's no scales in your Serp Helm or Blowpipe anymore or whatever. Um, but now, check this out. There's an Add X option. Before, it used to just automatically put all of them in there. But now it asks you how many you want to put in, which is really, really nice for UIM, especially when you're, for example, doing God Wars for a long time like me. And like maybe your Serp Helm would be almost empty, but your blowpipe's almost full. Now you can kind of put the charges back and forth between the two. Previously, the only way to put X amount of scales into the toxic thing 
was to put the amount of scales that you didn't want into your looting bag in the wieldy, but this is a really, really nice change. For some reason, the attractor and the accumulator were in your inventory when you died. I don't know if that was only for UIM or for all accounts, which is really weird, and Mod Ash said it had to do with really old coding or something. But now instead of dropping to the ground like we thought would be the change, some UIMs were saying that they're now always destroyed on death, which isn't like a big deal, but it's probably kind of interesting how and why they changed it to be that way. Uh, for UIMs at Zora, I think they reversed the order of the items you got back with the death mechanics update, but apparently, hopefully it's been changed to how it used to be. There's a very specific order, it goes from like top to bottom, left to right, looting bag, room pouch, I don't know the exact order, I forgot, it's been a while. Here's a really important one for UIM as well. So if you die with an herb sack and you had a bunch of herbs in there, it would like overflow the ground item limit of 128 and it starts deleting items I think based on lowest GE value and the seed box had like a value of one or something like that, something really, really low. So if you had an herb sack filled with like ranars and torstals and stuff like that, um, your seed box would get deleted and all the seeds in there would also get deleted because the items that get deleted I believe are based off of lowest GE value or just lowest value in general um, but I guess the seed box and the herb sack now have higher values worth so they're not going to get deleted over like Ranars or something. Divine potions are actually normal size now so for example this is what they look like instead of those little tiny icons. They fix some things used for lures on PvP worlds, although people always come up with new stuff, so that probably doesn't change too much. And then, okay, last thing I want to point out is the monkeys have got some bit boisterous, causing a tree in Karamja to topple. I want to check this out. I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about, but I think it has something to do with the fairy ring. Okay, I don't know why for some reason I thought it meant like it removed one of these trees right here, but that's not the case. I saw this thing on Twitter actually. Okay, is there a meaning to the topple tree? A more convenient route past the remaining trees to the fairy ring? Uh, and apparently it's a reference to this thing right here in uh, RS3. Yeah, something about a tree behind the house and anvils being removed for no reason and then people, I don't know, memeing the tree or something. <laughs> I don't know, dude, fucking RS3, bro. Anyways, if you guys remember a while back, there used to be a summer bingo for UIM, and then there was a UIM winter bingo. Well, it's summertime again, and it's once again time for UIM summer bingo, although it's a little bit different this time. It's called UIM summer showdown. It's pretty much the same thing as a bingo, though, essentially, and the draft is happening today in like an hour. And by today, I mean two weeks ago, because the videos are probably like two weeks behind. And I think bingo starts like two weeks from now, and I put down on the application form that I'd be doing Slayer and Slayer bosses, although hopefully we can actually finish Sarah by then, because we can't really get back to Slayer until we finish the SGS. Although there's a God Wars tile as well, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Yo, dude, <laughs> they picked me first. That's such a bad idea. <laughs> well, it looks like we are on the uh, Paul the Niche Pod Racers. Yo, boys, we're hashtag PP. Let's freaking go. Wait, so there's PP and then there's PPP. <laughs> Yo, that's so funny. We got hard dicks and boob on PP. <laughs> This is going to be fun. I just love this whole feeling. It's like the whole UIM community is all, well not the whole community, but like such a big portion of the UIM community is like getting together and it's just really cool to see everyone just all in one place at the same time. I love this. Yo, I'm hyped dude. Let's get back to Sarah though and finish this god sword, hopefully. The worst feeling man every time is when that first boss kill in the room doesn't count, but like it's really not worth getting 40 KC on the main just to clear it out or like getting Eku keys you know, that's going pretty far out of the way, but it's just a little bit annoying. God Sword Shard 2 from a minion. Oh man, dude, I know I keep saying it, but that green text every single time, man. My heart skips a beat and I start shaking for the first half of the next kill every time. The green text, it's back twice in the same trip. Not the one we're looking for, though. Okay, well, that was a pretty interesting trip, I guess. Uh, so, God Sword Shard 2, Sarah Light. They're both getting out. Uh, we still have the other gods for char 2 for no reason in the looting bag, but yeah, it'll happen. Just gotta keep going. Hey, what's up, bud? That is also not the right god sword shard. That's always a good elk, though. Whatever, dude. I'll just toss it in the bag for good luck. Here's the log now for anyone who's curious. It's the current situation with the god sword shard 3. Yo, tied my PB. Another 20 kill trip. 
I had no stamina for that last kill either, but it feels so satisfying. I mean, I guess like finishing any trip always feels so satisfying, but especially when doing 20 kills for a Sarah trip. All right, logging off today with 1492 KC, and tomorrow should be the day that we claim rank one Serodomen KC for UIM. Unless we somehow manage to get the God Sword Shard 3 before 1550 KC, or whatever, but even then maybe we'll keep on going just to claim rank one for like even a day would be cool. 1500 KC at Sarah now. I just killed a spiritual ranger. Why do they drop 12 oak longbows unstrung? That's such a weird random drop. Okay, Sarah, hard casket, treat us well. Thanks. Sarah sword. That's a nice alk at least. Cool, well we got the sword on uh, one of those fabled 20 kill trips where I have to do the last kill without stamina. We are now tied for rank 1 UYM Sarah KC, so next trip we're gonna get that. Well, this is number 10 for Sarah Dome and Swords. We are now into the double digit. Goodbye. Well, this draws to the end the road to rank 1 UYM Sarah Dome and KC. Uh, we're wrapping up with 1565 KC. I need to go fish sacred eels for a while and ponder and evaluate my life while I edit this video. Oh yeah, let's uh, log off first though and refresh the high scores. After the previous trip, we were uh, technically ranked two. Now, once we refresh, Rank one, baby. It's funny, Anissa Lalo is uh, actually on my bingo team, which is kind of ironic. I'm about to go send a screenshot actually and roast him for this. <laughs> You know, he is a one defense UIM, but you don't get bonus points for choosing to handicap yourself. He chose to restrict himself. Whose fault is that? <laughs> I haven't left this spot since the UIM first came out to Sarah. This is my normal account, by the way, the one I drop all the items over to. And this is what the inventory currently looks like from the last, what is it, like 550 Serodomen kills? This is all the loot of stuff I picked up, which is mostly dragon boots from killing the spiritual mages because I'm about to go to the B word and put all this stuff in there. So just the dragon boots themselves are worth over four mil. Then we have a bunch of other like miscellaneous clue items and stuff and the Sarah hilt, which of course will add quite a bit onto here. So 39 mil dropped over to the main so far. Just wanted to mention that before it all goes back into the place that we do not mention. All right, well, we did another like 250 kills of Sarah this video, which probably took like maybe 30 hours or so in total. Uh, we got quite a few drops. Unfortunately, not the one that we were looking for, but we did get rank one for UIM Sarah, which is so crazy to me because in all my years playing RuneScape on any account, I don't think I've been rank one for anything ever. So it's a really cool feeling. It may not even last too long, but it's still kind of cool to have that for even at least just one day. Freaking ranks on a dead game mode, dude. Uh, let's see the total amount of range XP that we've gotten so far since coming back to Sarah is... 2 million range XP so far. I just noticed we only have like 1500 diamond bolts E left. I just made 4,000 of them, I swear like three days ago. <laughs> All right, well next video, uh, we'll just keep on doing Sarah. Maybe we'll go for like 300 more kills or something. Hopefully we can finish that SGS though because I don't really want to go back to Slayer until we get that done. I'm gonna wrap it up here, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again next time.